this, so this is my boat. It's my home for three months when I'm crossing the Pacific. Rowing two and a half thousand miles completely on her own. So this is my rowing seat. Here I'll be spending probably most of my time up to 16, 18 hours a day. So this is my cabin in here, which is where I'll be spending sort of the second and most amount of time sleeping. But this tiny space not only gives Elsa somewhere to sleep, but somewhere to be safe. If the boat capsizes, I will, I won't be hitting the ceiling, I'll be held. She could be in this harness for up to two days while she waits for the storm to pass. Imagine, I mean, there'll be waves up to sort of 40, 40 foot high. That'll just, I won't be able to see anything except waves coming down on me. They'll be going over the top. And that's not to mention the sharks, the physical strain and the loneliness. The, the secret is I've got speakers here, which means that if I've got enough electricity left over from the water maker or the electric equipment and navigation, I'll be able to listen to music and audiobooks. And it's quite some pressure being Europe's only competitor in the Pacific's first ever rowing race. Fiona Lambden, BBC Points West at Bristol Harbour.